ACL reconstruction involves replacing your torn native ACL with new tissue. So there are a few different options when it comes to tissue selection for ACL reconstruction. And you can have donor tissue or you can have your own tissue. Specifically, when it comes to your own tissue, there are three main options that we typically use. There is the quadricep tendon, the hamstring tendons, the patellar tendon. So the Arthrex all inside ACL reconstruction technique is the most minimally invasive reconstruction technique that is currently available. And it falls very much in the stead of the continued appropriate evidence-based push towards accomplishing the same outcomes of conventionally more invasive procedures in a minimally invasive way. It maximizes bone preservation, and it also maximizes all the things you'd want for early biological healing. So what you're doing, instead of drilling holes completely through the bone, you're drilling sockets. So you're taking less bone, you're making less of a hole. You're making a little poke hole in the skin, and you're going directly in that tunnel. So it's socket surgery rather than full tunnel surgery. So there's less morbidity, which is less collateral damage. It gets to graft better placed and puts to graft in the orientation that you would like. I think the technology that Arthrex has created does make this reproducible and reliable and generalizable. But like everything else, we'll all get better if we invest some time and effort in using and learning. Not all surgeons perform the Arthrex all inside ACL reconstruction technique. That is often based on surgeon preference as well as surgeon training. As with any surgical technique, practice makes perfect. And so while most surgeons should be skilled enough if they perform ACL reconstruction surgery to perform the all inside technique, certainly this requires practice, training, and a level of confidence and technical expertise to execute this perfectly. And so the all inside ACL reconstruction is one significant move forward towards reproducing anatomy in a minimally invasive way and building on top of that to now add biology and other approaches to achieve similar reproducible high quality outcomes.